Hi friends, welcome to Grade Up, India's largest e-learning platform. In this video, I am going to give the weightages, the weightage of weightage and analysis of quality and standards in ESC prelims examination. Now, before moving on to it, my dear friends, your planning should be proper. Once your planning is proper. Cracking the ESC examination is not much difficult to you, especially in prelims. If you are going to make a proper plan while choosing the topics and preparation strategy, once if they are good, that will be more than enough to crack the examination. Here we have to remember few points. After that, we can able to move on to the actual thing. Earlier. So the first thing, first and foremost thing is know the first one is select the subjects next one is uh, know the concepts after knowing the concepts because we are not assured where from we can able to get the questions because recently it was introduced this uh, majority of the subjects from the 2017 onwards that is how we have to know the boundaries of the subject so that we can able to know it by attending as many quizzes as possible. That is only the way to succeed in your prelims examination. So in order to make that one to be a grand success for your preparation, we are coming in front of you on YouTube channel with an interactive quiz of quality and standards. And before moving on the details of that, I will give you a brief info regarding me. This is Balaji Gupta Tangutori, having 18 plus years experience in teaching and 9 plus years experience in GATE and other competitive exams time. I did my undergraduation from JNTUH and post-graduation from IIT, Industrial Engineering, Engineering Mechanics, Fluid Mechanics, Drawing. These are the subjects I am handling for various competitive examinations. Along because here standards and quality will also come under industrial engineering one part my dear friends. Now here I was mentored more than 30,000 aspirants for various competitive examinations. Now first of all we will know what all of the various subjects are there in ESC prelims examination. Then we will move on to which tall subject is going to be causing to get more number of marks. That I am going to discuss it, my dear friends. Then we will move on to the quality and standards meeting. So it consists of it consists of ten topics. You are already aware of it. They are already listed here. That is. Uh, Current, uh, current affairs, current issues and next one is engineering aptitude and mathematics, design, drawing and importance of safety. And next one is quality and standards which I am going to discuss in this particular session as well as I am going to conduct the interactive sessions on this particular topic on the YouTube uh, channel from the schedule which I am going to mention in few minutes. And uh, energy and environment is another important area. Our next one is uh, project management and basics of science, material science and engineering and ICT, information communi and communication technology. Next one is ethics. Among these, if you observe my dear friends, in the years whenever they introduced these topics in 2007, majority are introduced in 2007 like drawing, standards and quality, project management, material science, ICT, energy and environment, ethics. So from the time we have one doubt, what are the boundaries? Up to what level we can able to get the questions? So now we got a little bit clarity because based on four examinations, we observe up to what depth they can able to ask the questions in the ESC prelims examination. With that information in our mind, as well as the knowledge which we have, we are predicted some of the 
most expected questions from these areas and to help our students we are coming in front of you on youtube channel to discuss those questions now before that i want to give some more information to you because these two subjects if you observe you are already come across these in gate and other competitive examinations you are already come across these uh, subjects engineering math numericals and aptitude but if you consider aptitude you are already prepared this one for interview point of view also so it is going to be little bit easy you try to concentrate it you and you can able to easily get the marks on it but remaining here again remaining eight topics are divided into two categories static subjects and dynamic subjects means static is nothing but where the boundaries are fixed so i can't able to enhance the more number of uh, concepts from it like design drawing and safety project management quality practices material science and engineering ethics so here my dear friends if you observe some of the topics like project management we thought only they are restricted to project but if you observe the previous question papers in the previous paper, um, examinations that is we got the questions from economic order quantity line balancing as well as linear programming so here we their intention is they have to know each and every element which can able to comes under industrial management so along with project they are asking some questions from industrial similarly design drawing and safety quality practices material science we come to one conclusion based on that we are trying to help you in this in this youtube channel by conducting the interactive quizzes so dynamic subjects so for these in order to get more knowledge try to view the newspapers regularly with headlines you can able to get there is a possibility of scoring the marks in this similarly energy and environment so energy environment here also few static topics are there so but only few cases it is going to be day to day they can able to ask you and ict is one of the most dynamic element day to day it is going to be changes that's why you try to choose the subject based on that you try to enhance your knowledge now in order to uh, know what is the weightage of your subject we will consider if you observe my dear friends in the 2017 they gave very huge number of questions from quality and standards that is 21 questions they we got and equivalent it is equal to 42 marks in the 18 19 we got nine questions in the quality and standard subject in 2020 we got 10 questions from it so each and every uh, time except 2017 we are having 10 plus or minus 1 uh, 2 percent but mostly this is there for all the subjects but but here it is plus or minus 1 we have but on an average if you consider an um, average we are going to get 10 to 12 questions from it and average weighting weightage is going to be 24 to 26 marks good so here what type of questions we can able to get it from it so in order to know that i am going to bring one or two questions for your clarity but here this subject if you apply a conceptual or basic um, thinking you can able to get the marks just you observe this particular question my dear friend so here which of the following 14 steps comes uh, steps comes under 14 steps of quality improvement once if you observe this quality improvement word we have to get the idea of cross bay so cross bay gave the 14 points for the quality improvement actually 14 points we are already come across in few more places like deming gave it henry fayol also gave it henry fayol is related to the operations management deming gave it is a obligation so what all are the recommendations he gave but not giving it as a improvement ways okay that's why here cross bay whatever they say so ada committee for zero defects program yes it is there when you are there you are feeling the quality you want to improve it we have to make a committee which can able to take care of how to achieve the quality and how uh, they will give the checkpoints how to monitor them also that is ad hoc committee is correct cost of quality evaluation correct because uh, cost is considered as a quality quality is related to the cost according to him because some other people if you consider they won't consider quality for quality there is no need to place a cost because here from 
person to person philosophies are changing so if you know the basic um, works done by these guru um, quality gurus you can able to get more clarity quickly you can able to give the answer so cost of quality evaluation is also correct but most of the people will be confused here and they will also consider this because the similar term is there in this 14 principles that is quality measurement quality measurement is the point but in order to confuse us they gave quantity measurement observe here my dear friends quantity measurement it is wrong quality measurement is given but quantity measurement he was not considered because uh, if you observe the shavat shavat is considered quantity means process how many variable elements are deviated there he is considered quantity but he uh, crossby is not considered it that's why it is wrong supervisor training because supervisor if he is going to uh, guide properly we can able to achieve a good quality that's why one two four are the correct answers it is present in b so b is the correct one for this similarly we will consider one more question here this is a general term sir so once if you observe we have three types of quality characters one is quality design and quality conformance and quality performance so what is the difference between these two once if you have the idea you can able to get so quality design means whenever we are going to produce one product before starting the production so which is the best process to be produced which technology to be used which technology to be used so all these things will comes under quality of design but when they are producing whether they are achieving the quality or not they are the worker is going to check that quality that is called quality conformance it is done by the operator who is producing the product or service and performance once it is delivered to the customer he will say whether it is accepted by him or not so if he is going to face the problem then he can able to say it is quality is performing of the quality is good or not so that's why if you observe here what they ask which of the following factors affect the quality of conformance so in, in execution in making the product in the construction means making a building or a multi uh, stored building or structure or walls like that now if you observe site construction methods good so we are doing it sir that is why it is going to which construction method we are using this will comes under it technical specifications technical specifications that is come comes under in the planning itself so here it is related to the conformance first one is related to the conformance second one is going to the planning engineering design process engineering and design process it is a planning based which process we have to do it and supervisor and control supervision is going to be present in the execution that is why conformance one and four wherever it is there that is going to be the correct answer that is d so this type of questions we are uh, getting my dear friends actually these two questions are from the gate uh, esc 2022 sorry 2020 we got this similar type we can able to expect in the future also so in order to come this type of questions i am coming in front of you on youtube from 13th onwards at 11 30 a.m so standards and quality practices i am coming in front of you on 13th i am going to discuss the basic elements of quality and standards on 14th i am going to give quality philosophies this is important because even you observe one question crossby is one of the quality group whatever his based on his philosophy we got one question and quality standards and course you are already observed iso 9000 certificate 9001 which code is related to which element what is the uh, broader version of them all those things we discuss on 15th on 16th control charts so attribute control charts variable control charts will come under this all the along with that histograms and um, scatter diagram all these elements we'll discuss on 16th May. next one on 17th i am going to discuss what are the improvement techniques of quality quality improvement techniques like quality function deployment six sigma limits all these elements i am going to discuss on that day my dear friends and on 19th in order to test how uh, how you uh, learn the subject and i am going to 
come with an interactive quiz on overall subject on quality and standards in manufacturing, construction and service sectors. Is it clear to all of you, my dear friends? I will catch you in um, YouTube uh, from 13th onwards at 11.30 a.m. Thank you very much. And don't miss these classes. You can able to get much benefit from these sessions. Try to attend.